What if we made a map that was catered towards a specific type of tower? Say, a tower that shoots in straight lines? And made it as easy as long as possible to see just how high of a round we can get. Well, that's exactly what we're doing today with the Crossbow Master. I went ahead and made a map with the maximum amount of nodes with the longest space between them that was a straight line. And, uh, well, this is the result. And yes, the ducks were a very important part of this map making process. So again, the goal, survive as long as possible in chimps with Crossbow Master as our main DPS. And we are just going to max buff the hell out of it. Should make for a fun time, I think. I made sure to leave just enough space in the bottom right here so that I could put this Dart Monkey, set its last, and let it rip. And just for your FYI, the maximum amount of nodes is 33, meaning the balloons bounce back 32 times before exiting in the bottom right, which is why there is a, a bit of a curve for that last lane there. Now, I don't think saving this little money will matter too much, but why don't we just discount Village while we can? I do have to watch out, though, for uh, Rigor Runs to get a Dark Monkey strong enough. If I remember the last times I played some incredibly long maps, uh, that, that was uh, definitely uh, one of the problems that we had. So I think we'll just stop at one discount village and then just get our crossbow. This should guarantee that we don't die. Now, while we're on the topic of straight line maps, Dart Monkey Crossmaster isn't the only tower that benefits from this. In fact, I think Darling Guns are even better since they can utilize the full map range or the uh, extreme length of this map. Whereas, of course, as you see, the Dart Monkey can really only get like 20% of the track. But I guess if you're wondering why Crossmaster exactly and not any other tower, well, I guess this is a tower that I haven't max buffed in any capacity before. Because usually I only test those with the towers that I think are good enough to get an insanely high round. Crossmaster being a cheap tier 5, and in my opinion, not being very strong of a tier 5. And not only because of its cost, is one of the reasons why. So I just figured, why not we give it some time to shine for once? I finally got leads to the general player base. Crossmaster is one of those upgrades that casual players really love. But once you get down to like the, the really, really tough stuff, Crossmaster suddenly disappears and it is not to be seen. Like now that I think about it, have I ever used this tower for uh, a chimps run? I don't think so. It must have been at least years. Bosses, almost never. Late game, also almost never. The most use I've had a Crossmaster is when I use Crossmaster to get a Paragon. Literally using a tier 5 as, as a stepping stone, yes. I think I can pinpoint the reason. Before that, uh, here's this Moab. We're actually able to pop it with the uh, uh, Sharpshooter in only one bend. A little bit more for the blues here, but you know what I mean. But as I was saying, there's really only a specific set of rounds that Crossmaster is good for. Once you get past round 81, where uh, Bloons only spawn one child, it falls off immensely because I don't think it has any extra Saram damage bonus. And it, and it really isn't known for being a good Moab slash DT stopper either, so... It's precisely useful between, like, rounds 50 to 80. That's it. So good, I guess, if you're just going for completion and trying to finish medals on maps that usually only go up to 80 rounds, like, I don't know, ABR, just hard standard, but anything else is going to be a no for me. So because this is Jimps mode, I, I can't go for every single max buff in the game, so it'll be a little different from my usual max buff videos. But I should be able to get a majority of the buffs. Just Sans, maybe the uh, True Sun God Temple. I don't think you can make 500k. Even on the longest map here, but we're definitely going to go for a temple. So I guess somewhere up here. Sadly, this does mean that if I do get a temple, it's going to attack a little bit, but don't worry. Usually, I think a support temple only does like what, like, under 5% of the total damage? I probably shouldn't have even dropped this 0, 0, 0 super, because now it's going to attack mobs, but don't worry, I won't upgrade until I guess I have 100k. You want to go for the support temple first, because then uh, everything else you get after that will be discounted. I just don't know how long, it, or if we can make it to temple. I will do overclock if I need to, but right now, not necessary. Oh, speaking of which, also, don't create a Ruger farm here. Please, 78, 76, thank you. But yeah, I think what you want to do is you want to put, like, the NG here. Because it's, it's already support tower, right? So you want to just satisfy that 50k requirement so that you don't spend any extra money. And then, even though you lose the overclock, you can get it back for a cheaper amount. You know, just the money-saving tactics that we need to get used to when it comes to uh, chimps mode. You know, now that I think about it, maybe I should have um, put the stream here so that the villagers get eaten up. Then I can get them for cheaper later, but too late and probably not... Too much money saved in that case. 
All right, here's a fun little experiment. Crossmaster versus round 95. How many loops does each mob take? Well, I can't count right now. DZs are just everywhere, but if I had to guess, maybe like eight bounce backs. Again, only a quarter of the track used up, and I guess I'll off clock now too. And while I'm at it, let me also try to do some math here to see if I'm at the 50k requirement if I do called arms. Just stuff that we can uh, buff the crossmaster with while we're saving for that for that upgrade, the temple. It's really annoying chimps mode because like because of the zero sellback, I can't use the sellback cost to like gauge the uh, amount of money we sacrifice. I just have to think about the cost put on each tower. I think it's like 35k on the village. 15k on the overall. Yep, okay, that, that's, um, that's 50k already. I think we're good. Anyways, here's Crossmaster, still only round 98. Best tower in the game. Am I right, folks? Also, because I dropped the Super Monkey now, we're not even gonna get 2 million pops before round 100 hits. SMH, guys, how far? Fallen. Can't even get 2 million pops on the longest map ever. Somebody needs to cancel me right now. I think it'll take about 3 bounce backs for the uh, bad... First to pop the layer. Yep. Otherwise, that is GG. Let's go free play, and it should take about 20 rounds, I think. 15 to 20 to get the money for the uh, temple. Holy crap, round one of Force God hands. Look at the density of this. So currently, we're looking at about like 3,000 DPS on our crossbow at max. Not looking so hot, but luckily, again, we have uh, the, the track length is on our side. I do have to wager that we probably, they probably got at least halfway. All right, round 110. Looks like the money's there. Shall we do it? I think it's time. Blast off. And uh, how many range upgrades do I need to reach the uh, Dark Monkey here? One of them does not. Do I spend money in a village? I think I do because uh, this is 1510. This is much cheaper. Unfortunately, now I've lost my Oak Homeland. So uh, you can definitely tell the DPS loss there. Just one. And attaboy. Now we are back in business with the crossbow doing about, well, 3000. Similar to, I guess, how it was with with those buffs earlier. Next up, let's do Tier 4 Alk. I think it perfectly misses the base of the temple, so that's good. But if, if I do eventually get Perumbru, I will make sure to uh, get a Chinook before, before doing so. I mean, if two towers can get to around 200 on a map, like, just as long as this, I see no reason Crossbow can't, so we'll probably be here quite a while. Make sure to get my uh, Ultra Boost. Outside of range of everything. Uh, even with the temple off, it looks like it's going to take quite a while. Actually, let me just do this in advance. P mentoring. Unfortunately, I won't go expertise because it does damage. Although, it would be really nice to have on our crossbow to allow to do more damage. Also, no draw the boss right now until I need it. Because I know I can gain a lot of range with that camel pot. But let's save up for the 62k needed for uh, ultra boost first. Now, I don't know if it's just me, but there's something satisfying that seeing a tower start off as like base, no buffs. And then slowly getting stronger and stronger with with each breakpoint upgrade that we buy. At least in my eyes, that's how I stay engaged. Uh, there's also something satisfying with those constant line of crits. This is also a good indicator of, I guess, how uh, much money we're making in chimps and how many buffs we can afford to put on a single tower before balloons start to overwhelm us. Now, if only we did this in previous updates where the uh, temple would actually give you extra cash. If you didn't know, the support temple used to give cash per pop in chimps mode. That was obviously a bug, so inevitably patched. With it, you can make insane bank, get multiple paragons, all paragons in fact, max true sun god, and then get to around 400 plus. If that was the case, then I definitely believe getting a true sun god in this challenge would be possible. But yeah, not anymore. It looks like it's going to take us all the way to 137 to get our first attribute stack. Just in time for round 138, so let's slowly get, I believe, 6% stronger. Or rather, 4% stronger. Eventually, once you hit max uh, stacks, you should see a 1.67 times increase in DPS. Let's slow down here for DDT. Is looking at about 8,000, it seems. There's also something really satisfying about DDT rounds. The fact that we're not, it looks like we're not doing any damage at all. Or rather, there's a slow buildup of DTs getting damaged. And that's like the only progress we can see until it starts dwindling and we're popping them and then they fall one by one. And now max single target with six stacks. Pretty weak, not gonna lie. 500. We're gonna have enough here, right? Oh crap. I hope I didn't mess up here. But that's 20% after like three bounce backs. Oh, also, right. Guys, you can only ultra boost three times per round 
So I need to get an additional overclock in order to keep up the uh, overclock uptime. I haven't been counting, but I'm pretty sure we should be fine still. Let's see. Uh, one more. Still one more. Popped. Don't die, DTs. Don't. Don't leak. Thank you. Now, usually this wouldn't be a problem. Oh, crap. We actually died. Well, that's okay. That's okay. Remember? The count pot to give a range should be enough. Also, one of the times where uh, maybe putting the tower in the center of the map would do a lot better, but I don't have a Chinook, sadly. But yeah, usually the ultra boost cap per round is not a problem. Unless we're dealing with, like, impossibly long maps where uh, the tower takes so long to pop a balloon. Then that's what, when we make a cry for help. All right. So watching again. Don't underestimate the FZMGs. They got hands. And now Sarams. Okay. And we did it. Thankfully. All right. I decided to read your bush. And let me just test if that refreshes the three per round. It does not. Just in case one of you might have thought that was going to work. Man, even with the speed mod, it is like a chore to watch these rounds whip on by. Like, we're only doing about 15k damage per per bounce back to the bad. That's what I mean, guys, when when I say it doesn't really have a place late game. The bad damage is, is just not there. I guess before I go for homeland, getting the second overclock is necessary, because there's no way this ultra boost is going to help us with it literally not being active 80% of the time. Man, I really don't want to, because the straight line is so satisfying, but do you think we should just, like, get a Chinook next? So that we can... Maximize bad damage because this is obviously really good against any brown that's not a bad and it's so much more satisfying having it in a straight line but I think for longevity's sake Chinook might be next actually maybe I'll try to hold off our homeland I think that's other than 140 wait what we died I was gonna say other than 140 we didn't look anywhere close to dying but let me run this pack again well if it didn't die too bad then never mind about the Chinook then <laughs> This is truly the end of the line. Is it the DTs or what? Watching carefully, watching carefully. Oh, right. I should definitely refresh it if we were dying. The range is very important. Yeah, I don't think it was a coincidence that we died immediately the moment that the potion ran out because it lasted 15 rounds. I know I got a 15 rounds go. Looks like we're fine this time. With the pot, thankfully. But yes, never mind about the Chinook. Let me just see exactly. So we, we're entering with 86k. And then we're leaving with... Uh, 98, so it's only 12,000. And that's actually less than before, even though I think we have more buffs. That's probably because the bads are getting faster and faster and faster. So, of course, less time for uh, Dark Monkey to do damage. Again, I know we're missing a lot of buffs still, but I'm surprised that our DPS is only capping out at a paltry 20,000. Like, even if we did have the buffs that we're missing, like, how much would that really add, like, at max? Probably, like, 100k? I think a Far Cry from... Uh, the DPS I'm usually used to seeing. Come on, crossbow. Please hold out. Please hold out, DTs here. Nope. I'm so close to homeland. Just 5k off. I think I might need to spend on some rejuves this round, sadly. Because you see here, we're not dying to the bads. I'm going to have to rejuve right... Right now. Any difference this time? I'd like to think so. Thankfully, the round after this is basically a free pass, so it's just... Uh, Free cash money to allow us to get homeland, and, uh... I think that should buy us, like, at least... Five, ten more rounds. Next up, another Call to Arms. To offset the homeland cooldown. Probrew is definitely the lowest priority here, because, uh, It only gives you, like, a 15%... Oh my god, we died immediately? What? I had homeland. But yeah, it only gives you 15% um, attack speed. And I think, considering we already have got a good amount of damage, base damage on the uh, Dark Monkey... The permanent plus one, plus two is marginal compared to the attack speed. There's no way this dies here, right? I think just with restarting again, yeah, playing it slower, it suddenly works again. Cool. I also forgot to add water to this map to get an Energizer, but I don't think... Actually, that might have been worth it to get before Perm Brew. Um, unfortunately, too late. Unless I enable the mod that allows you to drop down powers for a small cost. Yeah, I guess I do that, but only if I, again, have the money for Energizer at some point. That's still, like... 30 plus thousand dollars away. I'm dead again on 167, by the way, so I, I must use another rejuve. Back and forth you go, bads. Uh, so I'm just gonna watch here how much damage we get on two bads on the way around. 41k, so 20k each now. I can only assume if you don't pop these DTs when Homeland time's out, we are probably dead 
during the in-between phase. Calling it. Calling it right now. JK. Well, son of a gun, we're gonna get out of this, aren't we? Yep. We got our call to arms now, second one. The only problem is that, uh, no more money for Riju if I needed this round. Good luck. And I'm dead again. And I can't- I can't. <laughs> I refreshed a count pot and a rejuve and I still died. Well, I think that's enough. Unfortunately, I think that's as far as the limit goes for the Crossmaster. Master. Only 170 rounds on Chimp Summit. Still missing a couple of buffs, but what can I say? It wasn't strong enough to make it to getting all those buffs, even with the straight line. 83 million pops on it. Surprisingly, Temple took up more than 5% that I was, I was expecting earlier. But that is it. If you want to see me make maybe more maps catered towards a specific tower, then let me know. Hell, maybe we could even do this map again.